हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल गेट जियोमेट्रिक्स इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज गो थ्रू आवर वीडियोस एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल टू सपोर्ट अस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द जीएनएसएस ऑगमेंटेशन सिस्टम जीएनएसएस ऑगमेंटेशन मींस एक्चुअली द इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ जीएनएसएस सिस्टम टू गेट प्रिसाइज पोजिशनिंग एंड नेविगेशन इंफॉर्मेशन In DGNSS, code correlation technique is used, and a proper base station or base receiver is used to convey the error information. In case of GNSS augmentation, a geostationary satellite or a very high frequency radio transmitter transmitting tower is used. So, what is the GNSS augmentation system and the uh, types of gnss augmentation systems are isbus system and gbus system isbus means the satellite based augmentation system and gbus is actually the ground based augmentation system so this is the definition of gnss augmentation that i have already discussed with you and this is the basic structure of gnss augmentation and two types of gnss augmentation system one is sbus and another one is gbus now let us see what is sbus and what is gbus one by one now let us see what is sbus sbus is required for enhancing the accuracy obtained with the use of geostationary satellite which provide integrity and correction information so let us see the sbus architecture in sbus architecture there is a space segment and a ground segment and a support segment and an user segment in ground segment there should be a monitoring station and uplink station and satellite control station and communication layer so there are various signals Uh, which comprises of this sbus system so let us see those signals one is geo ranging geo ranging signal includes transmission of satellite signal to the users uh, like l1 signal from the gps that is geo ranged by the using of geo ranging signal another one is wide area differential this signal mainly involved in calculating the various correction information and one is ground integrity channel that integrates and informs users the safest navigation services so this is all about satellite based augmentation system mainly for aircraft positioning and navigation this sbus system is developed or implemented it varies from countries to countries with different names so let us see that like in usa the system of uh, the isbus system is named as was that is wide area augmentation system in european countries that is ignos system let us see who developed which system like in wide area augmentation system that is developed by the us federal aviation administration and ignos european geostationary navigation overlay service was developed by european space agency european commission eu organization and safety of air navigation so you can see there is involvement of airport authorities in the in development of this esbus system so that is mainly used for the aircraft positioning and navigation system we india have also a esbus system that is named the name of this system is gagan so what is gagan gagan is gps aided geo augmentation navigation system so it is a very proud moment for us that we also have developed our own satellite based augmentation system uh, though we use the gps satellite constellation for our augmentation navigation system but still we have developed our own augmentation system so that is a very good thing and uh, you can go through isro website there you will get uh, information about this gagan system so this is the gagan architecture and it was developed by isro and airport authority of india 
and there i have mentioned some of the key elements of gagan so you can go through the isro website and uh, get more in information about this gagan system so now let us move to the ground based augmentation system this ground based augmentation system is mostly same as satellite based augmentation system the only difference is that in place of geostationary satellite a very high frequency or vhf tower is used to transmit the error information so let us see the gbus architecture so in gbus architecture you can see there is a very high frequency uh, tower is used to broadcast the error information and gbus is also known as local area augmentation system because the coverage of gbus system is very small and it not even cover a whole country but provides high level of accuracy so the places where we need high level of accuracy but we don't need that much coverage area we can use that gbus system or local area augmentation system and who uses this uh, gbus system gbus system is used by those countries who doesn't have that sbus system or areas where sbus system doesn't work in those places the only solution is gbus uh, the mainly the aircraft landing and the aircraft navigation system the, the precise point precise positioning is needed so in particular a local airport the gbus system can be implemented so it consists of several gnss antennas placed at known locations a central control system and a very high frequency radio transmitter this very high frequency radio uh, transmitter differentiate the gbus system with the sbus system based on which the uh, gnss augmentation system is differentiated in sbus the geostationary satellite is used and in gbus the very high frequency radio transmitting tower is used so this is all about the gnss augmentation system in the next video we shall see various types of errors that happened in gnss system and how this dgnss and this augmentation system mitigates that error what type of errors are there and what errors can be mitigated through dgnss or augmentation system that we will see in the next video so that's all for this video thank you